Ba 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 get to, I want to start rolling around. Just rolling, we're Woo! bowling. There we go, we're bowling. Oh wait, no, it's this way. What, oh, wait, Where no, the fuck are no, you no, going? I don't know, it's hard, it's in reverse. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I'm fucking scared, a little. I'm a little scared, I'm a little frightened. You're a little scared. I, uh, being a furry was simple, you know? <laughs> being the, what the dog doing was simple. You just do. And now we're back to human legs and everything's just mm. a little touch more terrifying. We don't have a key for this sort of thing. They rechain it up. Can we not just? Uh, what is well, what does Midna say? You know what she what she doing? Do you have anyone? I I do. What I'm just trying to get there. All right, maybe our man's locked it up. Maybe hmm. maybe our man locked it up here. Let's go. He's let's back go find outside. him. Hey, there we go. Good day, mate. You remember me? You remember me? I love the bird just clipping into his head. Yeah, just <laughs> nuzzling at his little ear. Mm. It's gone now. Where the fuck did it go? I think it's in his head. Wait, he's got a nest in his. Wait, he does a have a nest on in his head. head. Put a bird on his head. I mean, oh, yeah. Oh god. If I had that head of hair, I Let, fucking would. See, there it goes. Ooh. Ooh. All right. two polygons of that fucking bird. Thank you for the key. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, if you little. Well, you know, the GameCube is a, and the Wii. Yes. Um, Although you did mention we we're gonna try uh, replaying this on the Wii. But oh, the yeah, quality right. was shoddy. It was, yeah, it was, listen, the power of this uh, emulator, fuck it, I'm not even going to hide the artifice. Fucking, if you want to arrest me for using an emulator, fucking come and get me. Um, <laughs> where does this go? Uh, good question. Oh, no, that it's probably out to, that's pro no, because that's probably the fucking, that's Hyrule Field. Oh, there you go. And then we can't get through here without bombs? Yeah, or something. Big sad. It's alright, we've got the key to the gate. Um, rolling, 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 rolling. What? Keep rolling. No, it's, it's let's get Limp Biscuit out here. Yeah, let's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Fred Durst. <laughs> now I know y'all be loving this game right here. <laughs> Dude, I would give like an entire <laughs> limb to see Limp Biscuit live. Uh, you would, you would lose a limb for Limp Biscuit. Exactly. As would I, but I would be very critical about their set list, and I would only ask them yeah, to play. Fair. I would only ask them to play the rolling, but the the DMX remix that was on the soundtrack to the original The Fast and the Furious. Oh yeah! Oh my and, god. And I would only ask for I would ask for them to play their uh, Take a Look Around, aka the theme song to Mission Impossible 2, uh, nice. on the loop. I'd ask them to play that like 15 times. They just play that over and over. And yeah, the I'd fucking ask. Pit's just moshing the entire yeah, time. Yeah, but the pit is probably just me because nobody. It's else just you. Everyone would sort of get over that song at least like after like two plays. Yeah. Compared to me, you know. That is honestly fair. Uh, I would love to go see them live. There is um oh god, there's a couple of concerts I want to go to. Mother Mother recently was mm. held like two days ago, which would have been nice to see. Yeah. Uh Smashing Pumpkins is coming. I think yeah. um what is it? Either I think Blink 182 was also coming to Australia yeah. sometime either later this year or next year. I'll be damned if I ever, ever, ever able to get tickets, um, because they're probably yeah. all sold out. But, um, oh man. Yeah, no, well, there's some cool people coming to perform yeah. in Australia. Most of my friends, you know, go to concerts. They like a lot of different fucking bats. Fuck bats. I'm um, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, Fuck um, them bats. A lot of mu- you know, a lot of music. But all of my favorite music is like hip hop, and all of those artists rarely if ever come to australia yeah and so i i just i never get to go to any concerts i like for any artists i like and i'm real gutted because literally last night zach fox played in sydney Damn. and i just couldn't get the time or the tickets to go see it they lied they said i looked for tickets a while ago and they said sold out and then i looked yesterday afternoon and they were like oh no here are like general admission for 70 dollars i'm like well fuck you well fuck you i wanted to go to this thing how could you yeah. lie to me it's my own fault I, it's my own fault i live in a deserted island i have to plan travel yeah. i have to plan ahead Ooh, sorry i can't just fucking Leave. get tickets to zach fox on a whim you know but what Be i sad. wouldn't have what i wouldn't have given to have been in that crowd you know my first ever real concert Singing along to Jesus is the one, I got depression. <laughs> singing along to a marinate. Singing along to uh 
What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that new one? You did a you did a fucking R and B EP like three days ago. That shit was awesome. Damn. Not three days ago, like like a weeks ago, months ago. Wow. It's fucking making You're music for <laughs> uncles and aunties now, and it's like, oh, damn, that's damn, that's hard. Damn, that's my vibe. But yeah, like it's and that's the sad thing. I'll never get to see uh, Jada Kiss come Aww. to Australia. I'll never get to see a uh, uh, fucking a tribe called Quest. I'll never get to see fucking 21 Savage. 21 Savage would only come to this country if he was like rolling with Drake. And there's no fucking way I'm going to a Drake concert. Yeah, no, fuck in that. In my life. Fuck that. Absolutely. Man. God. Australia often gets the shit end of the stick uh, regarding concerts and guests and stuff. Like, because yeah. a lot of the time. If a band or something, or like a really popular like group, announces yeah. a world tour, that yeah. world tour consists of Europe, America, and one other country that isn't Australia. Yeah. They'll very rarely come to Australia, and if they do, it's like yeah. for a festival or something. I, for one, exactly. wanted to. Right. I wanted to see Sleeping with Sirens. Right, Sleeping with yeah. Sirens is a punk rock band that I've been following for years, mm -hmm. but um, Some they, they were coming to Australia. Yeah, exactly. They were coming to Australia. And they were doing solo shows in like Brisbane and Perth and stuff. But in yeah. Sydney, they were at the good, uh, the good things uh, festival, yeah. which was like two hundred dollars to go see like fifty plus acts, yeah. half of which I didn't know. Like I would have preferred to see them solo. Like what am I meant to do with that? I would have so much preferred to just see them solo. You know? I know. Damn, it's, Rick it, Link. that's because that's the thing about festivals too. Is it's like a, a lot of my artists actually do go to festivals, but it's like. I cannot justify travel and fucking... And the money. It's so expensive. Just, just so I can watch one hour of Denzel Curry. Exactly. At a fucking festival with 60 trillion other... Like, like I don't give a fuck about the 1975 or fucking... Like, I just don't give a fuck. And I feel like such an old man. No, no, I totally agree with you because... I've never gone to a festival. I don't think I ever will unless there were a majority of artists or bands that I knew. Yeah. Um, also, like, lately, from what I've seen, concert etiquette is just so bad. Because people yeah. are coming out of the pandemic and going to these concerts thinking that they're all tough shit and that they know what they're doing. Yeah. When in reality, they're being absolute dickheads to everybody else. Yeah, they're going crazy. I heard horror stories about that Phoebe Bridges concert the other day. Mm, oh my god, yeah. No, it wasn't good. I heard some fucking rampancy. It was also, not good. Are you familiar with the with the law behind this guy? Uh, no. Fill me in. So, uh, so are you familiar with the Zelda series timelines? Yes, I know this. Confusing? Yeah, there's so many of them. I've this, lost track. This is theoretically the zombie version of the Link. From Ocarina of Time. Ah. But the timeline where Link doesn't defeat Ganon in the end. Yeah. Which leads to the Seven Sages sealing him away, which is the Link to the Past timeline. Yeah. And we so, love alternate timelines. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense because Twilight Princess is on the timeline, is on the Majora's Mask timeline. Yeah. Where that Link wins, beats Ganondorf. Uh, but then doesn't, uh, but, and then gets to go back in time as a child. Yeah. So, which leads to, uh, no, which game is before that? Holy fuck, not even I can know my Zelda lore. Off yeah, the no, head. it's so, God. There, there are probably three games that I follow for the most part. Um, or for some of the part, that have the most confusing plots and storyline and timelines. One is The Legend of Zelda. Mm -hmm. um, still takes a while to comprehend. Um, classic Five Nights at Freddy's, because Five Freddy's. Scott, Cawthon keeps <laughs> Scott Cawthon keeps fucking adding shit. And the last one is Kingdom Hearts. I <laughs> don't think I'll ever be able to understand the Kingdom Hearts timeline or story no. fully. No. Um, but my god, there is just something about <laughs> these, like, about Nintendo or, like, yeah. these big name brand games mm. and having the most confusing fucking storylines ever as the yeah. franchise grows. Like, yeah. please, I am I am but a simple-minded person. Yeah. I need my hand to be held. Lore is okay? hard. Lore is and hard. There are not many cases of, like, hard lore being great lore. Yeah. 
Like, I can't even... Like, I love Metal Gear. Mm. But that lore is so needlessly complicated. There's, like, a fine line between um, having a good solid amount of lore that challenges the player to try yeah. and figure out what's going on, and then having too much of it to the point that it's convoluted and confusing yeah. and doesn't make sense or has a shit yeah. ton of plot holes. And that's exactly. the problem that Five Nights at Freddy's fell into, at yeah. least. FNAF at um, Freddy's. FNAF at Freddy's. Something which, about ooh, the bite of 87. Yeah, well, the movie started filming recently, actually. Like, as oh, of yeah. a few days ago. Um, yeah. The movie started That's filming right. as of uh, as of this recording. Yeah. Um, but... In Canada? Was it in Canada? It might I'm have been in Canada. You, it's you. The I, productions probably go to Canada. Well, they've been they've been trying to keep it on the download, but from what I know, someone's already like uh like leaked some of the sets um stuff, like yeah. the house of the Aftons or whatever. But um right. yeah, timelines like in games, I think are super confusing. Um sometimes if done too much. Yeah. Like. That's the just, thing about Zelda lore specifically, is it's yeah. the way it's designed that every almost every game is its own iteration of like the the same story. Yeah. It's genius because it means like like oh, we don't have to memorize deep lore. It's just a matter of if you want to do the thing where you connect the games, it's a matter of like how you like it's just like how it connects back to the earlier game. Yeah. So like or how they connect between each other. So like I said, just because I don't remember the timelines of Link versions between games doesn't stop you from being enjoying. Yeah, but... it's not like you don't need to know the lore behind all the other games to enjoy the game you're playing. It's why I was able to so easily get into Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. Like the last game I had played not to completion was Majora's Mask. Um, mm -hmm. But I was still able to fully enjoy Breath of the Wild because in and itself was its own game, and it didn't rely any pre uh, rely on any previous context for the most part for you to understand what's happening in the game. Exactly, it just it just goes. It just yeah. it goes. It understands its own thing, and it's beautiful. And it's gonna have a direct sequel, but it's not gonna fucking require you to have played Skyward Sword. Or exactly. Link's Awakening DX. Yep. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful system. Yes. Jesus. Well, all right. Next time on the show, Monkey Want Dungeon. I'll let you end with that. I, yeah. Well, Monkey I mean, Want Dungeon. <laughs> Monkey Want Dungeon. <laughs>